Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy DP. Bring you guys another vlog, and this vlog is about my quote. The only piece play with no comparison. Now, this quote, when I first introduced it in my peace montage video, got a lot of people butthurt or just too sensitive, took it the wrong way, and I started getting a lot of disrespectful comments. I'm like, wait, what? When did I become public enemy number one for this shit? So, let me explain what that means. Because I'm used to getting comments like this. I get it all the time, which I'm going to make another video about, you know, this stuff. And I just ignore it. Like, I have people coming on my Twitter just, instead of giving me a hello, yo, what's up, how you doing, I like the stream. First thing I see, yo, you don't want to be peach, man, you suck, you terrible. I just delete them. Just like that. Now, when there's people say like that on YouTube, I just leave the comment there. I really don't care. Because at the end of the day, they still gave me a view. And whether they choose to dislike the video or not, if someone dislikes it, I still get props for that because they're engaging with my video. As long as people are engaging, I still get kudos. And it helps people discover my video slash channel more. So either way, I ain't losing shit. And I got a whole lot to gain. Um, so yeah, the only piece main with no comparison, what does that mean? That's a combination of two things. One, my personality. For those that see my streams, who are on my streams, or know me in real life. Or hell, even talk to me on my Discord, which I'll leave a link below to that for those that want to hang out with, you know, the homie. That scores for my subscribers and whatnot, so you guys are more than welcome to. Uh, I'm a goofball, okay? I'm a clown. I like to make people laugh. My father, he was a clown. He made everybody in my family laugh. My brother, oh, rest in peace, homie. He was a clown. He made everybody in the family laugh. And. Alright, let me explain that right quick. I live in New York City, okay? Now, before people be like, oh, you live in New York City, it's all about gunshots and running from the police. Let me... First off, don't believe the hype, right? Don't believe that shit. I live a few blocks away from my hospital, so I hear that shit all the freaking time. Somebody's always getting hurt, somebody's always doing something dumb, and they got to call it whoop whoop. The whoops are always getting called. So yeah, that's, that's why, alright? It's not dangerous. It's not all about freaking gunshots and shit. Shit's not Detroit. Shots. Now nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. Don't. I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to the topic at hand. So yeah, my personality and the other thing is how I use Peach. Now hold on, before people go in the comments, be like, oh, so you can use Peach better than all the other ones? Nah, man, it's all about these other Peach players people drop their underwear for, man. It's all about them. You ain't shit. You don't even enter events. Why is this even a discussion? That's the same thing I, I ask. Why is this even a discussion? Why? I don't enter events. Get to that in a second. But, let me finish with what I was just saying before you go in the comments or send me more stupid ass comments. The way I use Peach, I feel like it's different from others. Now, let me explain this. When I'm in training mode, or just thinking about stuff while putting notes on my computer, I ask myself, what makes me different from other Peach players? If I can't answer that question, it lets me know I'm doing the same thing as everybody else. Which means it's been seen a thousand times. Which means people are going to be ready for it. Which means people know how to deal with it. Which means people are going to deal with it. And which means my chances of success Success. But this area right, right? My chances of winning are not that great. They're not as high as it could be. Because I'm doing the same thing as everybody else. So, I try to think of things that I could do. That's different from other peach means. That don't do. Whether a certain type of pressure, tech, trick, whatever it is. And here's two as an example. 
One, I feel like I'm the only peach main that uses more turnips in a in a effective creative way than any other peach main that I've seen. Like all these peach players, people go on about. Um, like for example, when I toss a turnip, I toss it, and then I if it hits the opponent, I bear. That way, when the turnip hits, the bear catches it, and if they block, I'm safe. And if you try to do something, they're gonna get, they're gonna eat some butt. That's one thing. Another thing is when somebody's recovering, I like to Z drop, so that way, if the turnip hits while they're near the ledge. They're gonna go past it because you can't grab the left for a second once you get hit. So when I try to up B, they're gonna go past it, and if they have an offensive up B, I can counter. So my use of counter in terms of S guarding, I feel like it's really good, and I don't see a lot of people doing that. And yeah, that's just one of many things. I'll probably say that I'll, I think I'll make a video. That'll probably be a good video. But, um, yeah, so those two things combined together is why I say I'm the only peace man with no comparison. This is not me saying that I'm the best and everybody else ain't shit compared to me. No. No. People just jump to that conclusion because when it comes to me and Peach and the Peach community, it's just a lot of negativity towards it. It's just a lot, which I'm going to make a video about so you guys can know the dark secrets. But yeah, that's basically what the quote means. So yeah, that quote, it got a lot of people butthurt and whatnot. And one thing I want to say about that is for a guy that does not enter events, right? He doesn't enter events. He's not talked about like these other peace players. If a guy like that, people spend so much time insulting and trying to put down, that basically lets me know that I'm a threat, that I am some type of importance for a guy that doesn't compete in events. Now that's an accomplishment. For any of you guys out there that are in the same boat as me, that's an accomplishment. And you should feel proud of yourself. Matter of fact, I'm going to get myself pat in the back. Give yourself a pat in the back, too, if you get that. That's some shit. How are you a threat in a competitive community when you don't go to events? How are people focusing so much time on trying to put you down when you're technically not a competitor in some way? See what I'm saying with that? It's... It, it, when it comes to me and, and this character in the community, it's just out of whack. It's freaking ridiculous. But I think that's about it. That's what that quote means. The only peace man with no comparison. That's what it means. Okay? So for all those people that are trying so hard to put me down, trying so hard to get at me, I really don't give a damn. And you're just making an ass out of yourself. Because instead of asking, you're listening to what other people are saying who don't know two shits about me just to get a cheap LOL or a capital X, I mean a lowercase X and a capital D within the comment. So you can feel... Like, yep, I did something funny. Yep, I'm a funny guy. I, yo, I just put Dark Peach down. That shit was funny, right? He think he all that. He ain't shit. Yep. Oh, you gave me an LOL? Yep, I'm hype. I feel like when people get the LOLs or the, the lowercase x capital D, that shit is like... It feel like they got a sensor beam or something. Or just got a freaking chaos emerald. And think they're... They're like, on top of the world, they some shit. Like, they funny and whatnot. I just look at you guys like, so now what happens? That's it. Here's one thing for end of video. 
when somebody is talking shit to you, this is how you this is how you get them. This is how you f- fuck up their hype. When somebody's talking shit, what I want you to tell them, tell them this. Here's another quote. Quote unquote. Okay, so now what happens? That I guarantee you, you will fuck up whatever they were going for. Because they're looking for a fight. They want to put you down so they can feel better about themselves. So when somebody is trying to get at you so hard, literally tell them, okay, so now what happens? You, you, you see? Like, you, you start to feel it, right? You see that? Literally tell them that. Whatever hype they have, whatever goal they're going for, automatically gets destroyed. Because now you're saying, all right, I ain't shit. So now what? Literally, now what? What happens now? You said I wasn't shit, and I'm like, okay, so now what happens? I'm even having a hard time trying to figure out what, what happens next. And while the 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 fool is trying to process that, whatever hype they had, whatever goal they were going for, it just immediately gets destroyed. So next time somebody's being a fool, you know what to say though, and that's it. Done. It's over. So yeah, that's it for this video. Vlog. Yeah. Thanks for all the people that came through Introspective Stream for the video that he put up. Me and him, we did a collaboration. And that video too is also sparking on people thinking that I'm the best and me getting insulted and all this. Oh, God. oh my God. What the fuck? I don't even go to tournaments and I'm freaking pissing people off. I'm a threat to them. Oh, why am I so good? Why? And for stuff like this is why I say I'm the only peace man with no fucking comparison. I don't think any other peace can do that. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, thanks for all the people that came through Introspective um, channel. Welcome. I have videos on other stuff, other tutorials that you guys can uh, check out. You know, getting better in Smash in general. You know, more on a serious note to step your game up. And for those that you want to laugh, have the good ten. You can check out my other videos in the playlist where I have parodies of Smash stuff, kind of like the way Introspective does, and uh, some playthroughs. You guys can check that out. Just had the good ten. And uh, the score for all my subscribers, I got a score. Link to script for that below. And yeah. And also my veteran subscribers, you know, putting the word out about videos and stuff, supporting the channel. All you guys together are freaking savages. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And I'll catch you on the next video. Deuces!